Welcome back. Uh, this is Mousy to Psychedelica of the Ashen Hawk. Uh, unfortunately, there was a, a mishap on the computer, so um, just to get back to where I was and all that, I decided also um, to go through all these because I had to start the game over. And as you can see, they're all uh, they're all seen. I, I didn't actually read through most of them, um, but they do give you uh, points that you can spend at the shop here. Um, these are just unlock short episodes. Uh, yeah, so I I have all those. I decided just to do that, but I don't think I'm going to actually um, record those. It's <laughs> I'm just speed running through it. Uh, but yeah, I believe I got to where we were last. Let's see here. Yeah. I, okay. Where we had left off. Me. Um, we went through the Black Shadow little short episode where the lady well, hired me to find out if her husband was cheating on her, which unfortunately he was. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's... Uh, Let's just continue from there. Let's uh, maybe start up here. We'll go to... Oh, well, I guess not. <laughs> we'll go with this one. Tables have turned. I walked around town without any new developments on the missing item or new requests for work. Days like this did happen once in a while. That was when I, oh, I'm sorry, that was when I saw a familiar back. Levon, it's Levon. I went closer to call out to him, but my arm was pulled in a different direction, setting me off balance. <gasps> I was then pulled around the corner. A thief? I quickly reached for my sword at my hip. Right before I drew it from its sheath, I heard a frantic voice by my ear. I turned around to look and saw Levi. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, it was in this very uh, back alley that I did get robbed of a lot of money. Those bastards still haven't been <laughs> uh, caught. Levi, you surprised me. What's with you all of a sudden? I was about to raise my voice, but he covered my mouth. What? What? Why are you so suspicious of your brother? He said that with a serious expression while pushing me against the wall. If someone saw us, it would look suspicious that we were pressed against each other. Levi's attention was completely focused on hiding from Levon, so he didn't realize. Why is he trying so desperately to hide? I stayed silent as he asked for the time being, and he let go of my mouth. Wait. As he asked for the time being, and he let go of my mouth. That just, I don't know why, but that sounded weird to me. <laughs> Seems that way. What happened, Levi? Yeah, I'm not going to be a good thing. I'm not going to be a What did you do this time, Boyo? Doesn't that mean you did something bad? <laughs> Just let him get mad at you. It's better than waiting until you get back to the house. 
Levon treated Levi with a brotherly sort of strictness. Whenever Levi was at fault, he would receive a ruthless le lecturing, but never had what Levon said been unreasonable, at least from what I heard. そんなことないって。お前だって休みが急になくなったら嫌だろ<笑> ?What have you been doing, man? It just depends. I mean, come on now. If you do something bad, you might as well just own up to it. Get it out of the way and let bygones be bygones. I would, but there's a reason for that, isn't there? あったとしても、俺は今日やりたいことがあったんだ。Meaning you were tasked with a job today, on your day off, and you ran away because you didn't want to do it? Oh, よくわかったな。さすが。Oh boy. <laughs> Doesn't this sound like somebody I know? <laughs> oh, Ashenhawk. <laughs> Don't give me that. Levon didn't give you that task just to be mean to you or anything. そりゃ分かってるけど、俺の都合だって聞いてくれたっていいだろ他の団員の都合は聞いてやってるのにさ。Uh, huh, I mean, he should treat you just the same as everybody else, but he wants you to be a better man, I guess.、Uh, which he should want that for everybody else as well, but hey, to each their own. Um, also, I heard some rumors. Hmm. Perhaps they might be true? Who knows? Well, even if it were logical, a part of him did, couldn't agree to it. Levi wasn't the kind to abandon his duties without reason. I'm only going to let you go this time. You said, Hanashiga Wakaruna. Ma, Yosinga Watara, Chanto Modurkara. それまでだよ、それまで。What do you need to do? <laughs> Or who, maybe? Haha! <laughs>、uh, sorry. <clears throat> Fine, but before that. Hmm? Levi didn't seem to realize it, but we were very close in proximity. He had pushed me against the wall, so I couldn't move away. I want you to do something about this position we're in. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sure. He moved away, but being afraid of Levon, we continue to talk while in hiding. But, my brother is just where I want to go. I don't want to go. He's probably. <laughs> I mean, he was somewhere over here. There's a door right here. Is that where your girlfriend stays, huh? <laughs> was he making sure that you were going to do your job and not going to philander or whatever you want to call it? Maybe he knows what you're trying to do. Why go to you now? Gaki no koro, doko ni kakure demo aniki ni mitskata koto omoidasu. <laughs> We and her both are on like the same brain cell, I swear. <laughs> He can read your mind, I think. He's your brother. Of course he knows. And probably even older. Well, I think he is your older brother. So whatever you're doing. He probably has already had that same situation or similar. Who knows? So, I mean, I, <laughs> it's not a surprise. Hmm. Levi, you're easy to figure out in a lot of ways. Like when you eat Francisca's <laughs> cooking, you really look like you want to die. <laughs> すげえ真面目な顔で飲み込んでるつもり。<笑> And you do a very crap job at that. <笑>
<laughs> Are you kidding? Then you're obviously not trying hard enough. Masika. Yeah. While we were talking, I felt someone's presence approaching. I looked around the corner and jumped back in fear. It's Levan. Oh boy, you're about to get caught. <laughs> Mind shattering. Oh my goodness. Oh, it can't be that bad. I, I mean, I've had some bad food before, but it can't be that bad. Levi, shut up. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> you, you like pushed his freaking chest up the wall so hard that he lost breath <laughs> that's a cool look at CG though like for real Z's cool cute I don't know don't mind me our positions flipped with me pushing Levi against the wall this time Levon just passed by right now. Huh? Oh. Sorry, Levon. I decided to help Levi today. I'll turn him over to you next time. <laughs> Perhaps he gave up on Levi and remembered another thing he had to do. He walked off somewhere else quickly. But that didn't mean he wouldn't come back. We should remain quiet for the time being. <laughs> Am I choking him? Like... How do I? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm choking him. My eyes met with Levi's as he was trying to say something, so I mumbled to him. What? Yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you embarrassed? <laughs> I mean, you did the same exact thing to me practically just, what, 10 minutes before? And, uh, yeah, tables really have turned. Hey, look at that. Levi's face was red as he looked away far away. You know, maybe the brothers do know about her secret. I mean, she was raised with them since she was a baby or a child, whatever. Perhaps they do know, and that's that's why he's embarrassed. Otherwise, it's like, huh, you were doing the same thing earlier. I swear, we are <laughs> like one mind. Our positions were flipped, but what we were doing was the same. I thought it would be fine. So, but you do <laughs> oh, isn't that just so cute, though? I mean, is it more of along the lines of you're being embarrassed or you're just not liking this because you have too much pride? I mean, don't be so prideful, good sir. <laughs> Some people need saving, too. Uh... Yeah. Huh? I don't get the difference. <laughs> uh, you don't like it, huh? Tisk tisk. His explanation wasn't making any sense. Levi pushed me away by the shoulder and looked over to where Levon walked off. Hey! Now I was nervous because of how careless he was being. Levon could still be close by. I'll go take a look. You stay right here, Levi. Ah! I heard a dull thud. Because I pushed him in a rushed way, I had slammed his face onto the wall. Ah! Oh no, that is so mean. <laughs> Levi, are you okay? <laughs> oh, your precious little face. 
up against the wall. S sorry, but looks like Levon is gone, so I think we're safe for now. <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor Levi. <laughs> I felt sorry when I saw his slightly red forehead. Levi didn't say anything, but I, sh I was sure it hurt. I'm really sorry. Let me see. Did you just hit your head? I'm still sorry. Just let me see it. I could see if I stood on my toes. Levi was so was much taller than. Ugh. Okay. I could see, I could see if I stood on my toes. Levi was much taller than I was, so I had to grab his shoulders to bring him to my eye level. Hey, come on. I brushed his hair aside to see the part that got hit. It wasn't bleeding. It seemed like the impact was light. Does it hurt? It's a bit red. Maybe you can cover it with your hair. <laughs> Drop the tough guy act. Okay. Oh, sorry. Kakori. <sighs> Hmm. He heaved a huge sigh. I just realized it, but the position we were in at that moment was also compromising. Touching his hair up close and personal. Well, Levi is like family to me. I said this earlier, but you did this first, you know. Oh, look at that. You're, you're finally, like, not all embarrassed and stuff. Is that the issue here? We've touched each other's hair before. Why are you bothered by, uh, about it now? So <laughs> There is no reason for you to be so embarrassed and sweating. Come on now. We probably did. I don't remember really though. <laughs> you always touched my head, Levi. That's why I didn't think much of it. <laughs> oh dear. I didn't know why, but Levi suddenly started rubbing my head. What's that for? Why are you afraid that your girlfriend's gonna see? And she's gonna suspect you with somebody else, huh? <laughs> he lightly bumped his fist on my forehead and then took a few steps away from me. Well, okay then. I tried to fix my messed up hair. That was a rather childish way to get back at me. <laughs> he is kind of childish, though. Oh, you, this is a new little stance you have. Well, at least I don't remember. But it has been a while. <laughs> he is kind of cute, though. I nodded and saw Levi off. His forehead and face were slightly red as he walked away at an unusually quick play, quick pace. Well, I mean, he he is trying to escape Levon and stay away from him <laughs> for the time being, for whatever reason. <laughs> wink, wink. He got so close all of a sudden, but then backed off just as suddenly. Levi was easier to figure out, but I realized that I didn't know everything about him. Then again, that was only natural. Well, I do know that uh, he doesn't like meat. <laughs> I was reading one of those little pink things that you question them with. He doesn't like meat, um, but Levon absolutely loves meats. 
Still, I wonder what it is that's so important that he has to do it now. Uh, well, <laughs> when the jungle calls, man, I guess. But he's already long gone, so I couldn't ask. Knowing there was no point in lingering, I left the alleyway. <laughs> that was very interesting. <laughs> uh -huh, Levi, what a goofball. Oh, uh, I also forgot to mention that I do apologize for the um, very bad, bad uh, background music uh, in the videos before. Um, unfortunately, I was just on a roll. I was reading through these and um, I ended up turning off the music because even at the lowest to before muting it, it was extremely loud still. So you couldn't really hear me say my voice or uh, my lines uh, very well. So yeah, I, I hope you don't mind, but we don't have any music going on. So it's just their voices and mine. Uh, anyways, let's, let's continue. Uh, we're gonna do this one first. I arrived at the town square and heard the bustling of the crowd. There were people preparing for the masquerade and stalls selling to them. At Matt... There were people preparing for the masquerade and stalls selling to them. A lot of townsfolk had gathered. There's still time until my next job. I decided to look around the shops in the square. I was mindful of saving money, so I wouldn't be buying anything. But looking around was fun in itself. Hey! I actually do fancy going to the mall, let's say, and just window shopping because, like, maybe you don't have the money right then, but you could be, like, seeing something and just be like, oh, well, I, I'd like to pick that up whenever I can. It's <laughs> it's not a lot of times that I get to do that, but uh, still fun and, and the same, you know, just to window shop. Some people hate it. I, I don't mind it. They have so many different colors here, and so many types. I stopped by a store selling cloth made up with yarn of all kinds of colors. Ooh, knitting. I rarely bought things like this, but I imagined using that cloth to decorate my room. Oh, yeah. Considering how much money I had, that dream would never become a reality, but imagining it was free. <laughs> That's true. And the poor... Poor Chica, she ended up getting friggin' robbed on our last video, which honestly still kind of angers me, but, you know, what's done is done. I was looking through the shops when I felt something brush my... I was looking through the shops when I felt something brush by my chest. Uh-oh. Somebody trying to steal your shit? Oh, okay. Were those kids racing? It's a bit dangerous doing that here. But yeah, no kidding. You break something glass, you gotta pay for it. I wondered if I should scold them for it. But then my eyes met with a girl with pouting cheeks. Uh, I... I... Can't I can honestly not say because I didn't see the race until it came across me. Huh? Oh, now that just sounds like somebody I know too. Just not with a deep voice for a 10 year old. Hey, there's no need to say it like that. And don't run here, it's dangerous. No buts. Your friends, aren't you? Close enough friends to be racing with each other? Ma. Don't say things that'll hurt your friends' feelings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 
よね。You too, don't say things like that. <laughs> you are also running too, so don't run with scissors. Now, what's a better way to say it? Good job, both of you. After I patted their heads, I noticed that our surroundings were eerily quiet. It seemed that the children noticed it too and started looking around. What's going on? There were some people who huddled close in whispers. I tried to follow their line of sight. Uh oh. Ah, okay. I thought my eye was turning red for some reason. <laughs> and there I saw the hawks the hawk lord Olgar, Lucas, and a servant of theirs. I came at the wrong time, apparently. They are probably here to collect taxes, patrol the square, or maybe some other purpose. I didn't know the specifics, but either way, given the atmosphere, they weren't here simply to have a good time. Hmm. The girl grabbed my sleeve and hid from Olgar behind me. I mean, considering that we're in a public place, he can go suck it. I see. Even small children are afraid of him. What a bastard. I perked my ears to try to hear their conversation. Thanks to how quiet the crowd was, it wasn't too difficult. Haku, this they're just having a conversation about administrative matters. But every time Olgar spoke, everyone stopped what they were doing. Everyone was afraid that they would offend him if they spoke. They were all afraid of being the next person he would call to. It was easy to see that they were all frozen in their tracks, twitching in fear. But the next one that was called out to was Lugus. Lugus. Hi. Ano ikken igo. Todokori wa nai darou na. You need to stop being such a prick, man. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Not every leader needs to be feared, you know, to in order for them to, quote, obey. You know, the strong leader doesn't always have to be a feared one. I know exactly what they were talking about. It was about the tax collection, tax collection scuffle from the other day. I relived the cold, tense atmosphere in my mind. Olgar looked briefly at me before turning his sharp gaze to Lucas. Lucas answered with an expression devoid of emotion. Hmm. <laughs> the conversation ended there. Olgar scanned the crowd and then left. Yeah, get out of here. Nobody wants you here. The man called Haku followed him, while Lucas remained. The two were likely returning to their manor. Phew. I heaved a sigh of fatigue and relief. Whenever I saw Olgar around, it always felt like the air became thinner. I did interact with tough people in my line of work, but he was on a completely different level. <sighs> What's the matter? You can talk now. I'll give you an idea. Go and punch him right in the hip. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't ever do that. 
Huh? The atmosphere had lightened a little around the town square, but there was still some lingering tension. Oh my goodness, man. What? Nobody could have fun in this town anymore? Why don't you guys skip out and go and create your own town? Yeah? Bastards. That's not yet. こっちだって色々あるんですよ。前回の代表は寝込んでるし、隣の区画との兼ね合いもある。それでも進める猶予はあったはずだ。それができなかったって言ってんですよ。もんくばかり言って偉そうに。散々せいで絞り取っておいて
they can command respect everywhere might not be a bad thing. While I was starting to trail off in thought, the two children called out to me. Oh, sweetheart, you shouldn't worry yourself on that. <laughs> Enjoy your youth. Fighting? That didn't look like a fight to me. <laughs> if that is the question, the Hawks clan should be apologizing to the townspeople because, like I said before, economics. Hmm, that's difficult to say. That's true. When you grow up, there are things that aren't always cl as clear cut. Yeah, I mean, yes and no. There are times when grown-ups have a harder time getting along. It's really strange. Oh. <laughs> I love the way a child's minds work. They're so much smarter than us, but yet so much more naive. Mm. I didn't know what else I could say. There are things children can do much more easily, <laughs> ain't that the truth? Human relationships were difficult. There was a constant op opposition between the wolves and the hawks. To the kids, all that was meaningless. Thank you! And it still is. But people are weird. I wonder when it all changed. <laughs> Just please don't go thieving and stealing stuff. <laughs> ah! We can learn a lot from kids on how to change gears so quickly. Hmm. Most interesting. Now. Let's go to this one. <clears throat> Hmm, what to do? I went to the town square and the tavern in search of information on the Kaleidovia. Oh my goodness, I completely... <laughs> I totally forgot about that thing. <laughs> it's one thing if I'm on a job, but coming here and not drinking makes it kind of awkward. I stood next to the door while thinking about what to do. But the tavern was the ideal place to gather information. It was easy to talk to people as their tongues were loosened by the alcohol. If only I was with someone else. As if someone read my mind, the entrance was flung open. Oh, Levi! <sighs> what are you doing here? Why running in here? I'm here to gather information on... Did you run here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, really, Levi? <laughs> oh boy, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Levon, you're here too. Did you two just finish up work? Ah, uh, a little bit to wet the whistle, huh? So, what's the news? What's the gossip? Since I didn't drink, I didn't know how to feel how it felt to get a swig in before dinner. But seeing how the tavern was still bustling, even as the fog was beginning to descend, it must be a big source of entertainment. Chica, if you're planning on staying in town, that's fine, but you don't want to be in here when the fog comes in. It'll be even worse in the mountain or the hill, whatever. That's perfect. Mind if I join? Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm sure it will, Levi. <laughs> The three of us sat down and gave our orders. Naturally, I ordered food instead of a drink, but the other two ordered ale. You really like that stuff, don't you? He's got a point, but I prefer my Guinness. See, he even agrees. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't get it, but you both sound like old men. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no. No, I did not order any alcohol. No way. Just almonds. Levon breathed a sigh of relief. He was treating me like a child, but when it came to drinking, it couldn't be helped. The ale and al almonds arrive quickly and have a toast. And we have a toast. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tokuni <laughs> We all spoke cheers in unison. Although I was ha I was holding a bowl of almonds, <laughs> I was sure they understood the sentiment. <laughs> Levi chugged it all down and gave a satisfied sigh. <laughs> you taking my almonds, boy? You better not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at Levon. This is such a cute CG. I love it. What the heck? Why are you thinking of a toad? A frog. God only knows what the hell he's thinking. <laughs> the two were in high spirits. They laughed while ordering their next round. Yeah, sure. Like fine wine. More like milk. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. As a matter of fact, I couldn't do either of these things. <laughs> I think I know what he means. Levon is always too uptight about these things. Again, he's trying to... Levon... You better plan to stay with us for a long time. That's all I can say. よく他人に見られる立場にいるからだ。お前も少しは気をつけろ。yeah, but you can let your hair down every now and then. You are also human, first and foremost. <laughs> I see that too. The second round of drinks arrived. They both quickly drank it down. Aren't you two drinking a bit too fast? You sure you're okay? これくらい水と同じだ。それでレビアな。いや、もうさ、ゲットドンクオレディ Memories? It was difficult to think of one on the spot. The three of us had always been close, ever since we were children. Um, That's cute. Yeah, now that you mention it, that did happen. Frogs, snakes, caterpillars. 
よくお前ら素手で捕まえられたよな<笑> Well, I mean, she... she's a brave soul, let's say. Levi, you don't like bugs? 一向に改善する気配はない。雲が出たくらいで大騒ぎするし、母上と同じだな。Honestly, I, I, I'm not gonna say that because my phone is nearby and for some reason it likes to listen to me and、um, yeah, then it starts putting out no. I don't scream anymore. I used to freeze up, but now it's just like I don't want to be around them. And like, if they're big, get the freaking shoe and smack it 15, 20,000 times. <laughs> Levi, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's funny. それはお前が母上の靴にカエルを入れるからだろあれは稀に見る大激怒だったぞ。Oh, you little sneaky piggle. You put it in her shoe? I think that was the first and last time Francisca lectured us all night. そうだったか覚えてないな。That's funny. あまりの恐怖に記憶から消したんじゃないか。True. True that. That's possible. あの時は二人きりで朝まで絞られたぞ忘れるなんてお前<笑> I would hate to try to put my shoe on and feel something slimy or whatever like dude that would not only creep me out but it would freak me out as well so I can Definitely understand that, but to the next morning? I mean, didn't you guys have school or something, you know? I don't know. Yape, so nani daigido that no kayo. Omoida sanai to yabai king ashtekta. And chotomate royo. And that's when the third round of drinks arrived. Levi drank it as if he were trying to get rid of a distraction. Mori no tankewa. 日課みたいなものだったなえ母さん大激怒の話もう終わり you might be happier if you just forgot it. 俺が思い出すまで話してくれよまあいいけど<笑>でなんだっけ、うん、探検かあああの頃はこんなに雪が深くなかったし町の近辺なら怒られることもなかったああそうそうせいぜい霧が濃いぐらいで雪は全然だでも霧が深い森ってすげえ不気味だったよな魔女の家を探しに行った時とかやばかった<笑> Wow <笑> Search for the witch? 子供の噂話の範疇だったが、魔女が森に住んでいるから、奥には行くなと厳しく言われていたな。はあ。The word witch made my heart jump.Yeah, no kidding, it did me too.It seemed that my memory of these things was rather hazy.I did remember going exploring a few times, but not this clearly. Maybe I was so afraid of the word witch that I completely forgot about it. Wanting to change the subject, I suggested another episode from our memories. <laughs> Remember how we went out searching in town only to come back late into the night? So, so. Machi ni kaksareta himitsu o hitosu mitskete hiroba ni motte kuru koto to ka itte sa. Kekkyuk dare mo mitske rare nakte. 全員暗くなるまで集まらなかったな、huh. この町にそんな秘密があるわけねえのにガキの発想ってほんとすごいよな They still do, good sir. They still do. そしてその時は3人揃って母上の説教を受けるという<笑> We're a rascal little bunch, huh? あれ
、俺ら、叱られてばっかじゃねえ。<笑> My question exactly. Now you remember? As we talked, their fourth and fifth rounds of alcohol were emptied. By now, they were both in high spirits, and we continued talking even more about, our, about past memories. It might,、uh, it might have all been ordinary and uninteresting to others, but it made me realize that we spent a whole lot of our lives together. しかしまあ、こうやって考えると、あの頃考えた未来の姿ってのが、意外と間違ってなかったのが面白いな。The future? 兄貴は絶対母さんみたいに仕事仕事って言い出すに違いないと思ってたし<笑> Yeah お前は成長してもあんまり見た目変わんねえだろうなって思ってた Hmm Huh Hmm You're trying to say I'm puny? だがお前は誰より現実に向き合い中身は大人になっていくだろうなと思ってはいた今の姿を見るとやはりそう思う I I could take that as a compliment yeah <laughs> I mean face everything with logic right Levi you may look different but you haven't changed on the inside at all <laughs> you're still immature <laughs> <laughs> yes, every time. All the time. Levon, you're usually kind to everyone, but you're pretty harsh on your own family. If that's an expression of your love, then you haven't changed at all, just like Levi. Aniki was so I can't even tell you what I said. I said, I said, I said, I 思い出話っていうのは自分の話になるとどうも分が悪いな<笑> The three of us laughed I was struck with a weird feeling talking about our days past as if they were only yesterday I could only assume this was how it felt when you went down memory lane Well yeah I didn't have a single drop to drink and yet the memories kept coming like a dog Deluge? I don't know. 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 It's so strange. In the end, our meeting was disbanded before the fog got thicker. Yeah, me neither. Oh, <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. The two of them always brought up Francisca's cooking or lecturing. But when all was said and done, they cared about their mother. To me, they loved her just as I did. <laughs> Rightfully so. I mean, <laughs> she's, she's a, an excitable one, but she's a good one. That's why her name always comes up when we talk about our memories. I wondered if that was what it means to be a mother. Although I wasn't related to her by blood, I felt that we did share a bond. Maybe I should go see Francisca before going home. Yeah, I think I should go see Francisca before going home. I'm sure. <laughs> I'll be sure not to say that. I, I'm full off of almonds right now. And thus, I made it to the manor. Baby? どういうことなのはあ、本気で説教タイム<笑> ?Oh man, she's pissed.Francisca was waiting at the entrance and she was obviously angry. 
いやえカエルは捕まえてきてないけど<笑>カエル何を言ってるの Don't mind them, they're drunk. The three of us looked at each other. あなた、大切な書類を適当に部屋に放っておいたでしょう。今日までに読んでと言ったのに。おまけに窓も開けっぱなしで、そのせいでインクが倒れて、書類が台無しになってたのよ。<gasps> oh no! Levi! <sighs> レビーが悪いな。えおあ,あ、そんなことか。<笑>何かと思った。うーん、You're in trouble, big guy. 何がそんなことなのあなた反省してるの、レビー。Oh, he's done for. Right when I thought that, Levon also whispered to himself the same thing I was thinking. <laughs> you better apologize to her and then <laughs> insist to go and read whatever you could. <laughs> Good one, jackass. <laughs> She looks like she's just gonna enjoy it so much. She is very much pissed at you, boy. Mmm. <laughs> you're on your own this time, buddy. I mean, yes, but. We also have to face reality. And the reality is, is that not only did you not read the important document that was in your room, but you also were at fault for letting it get destroyed by the ink.、Mm, boy, yeah, that's, that's all you. Gambare, <laughs> Levi. <laughs> He's being dragged. Francisca dragged him away to a room on the other side of the manor. It was a misunderstanding, but what, did, what he did with the document couldn't be denied. No matter what we say to Francisca, she'll just be reminded of that incident with the frog and get mad about it. <laughs> I heard later that Francisca's lecture lasted the longest it ever had. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Poor Levi. Oh well. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. <clears throat> As for me, I realized I had completely forgotten about my initial goal of gathering information.、Mm. I think this is probably as good a s time as any to end this.、Uh, it's almost an hour now. Uh, uh, on my recording, at least, minus whatever is、uh, due to be edited out. Thank you for joining me on this、uh, read through of Psychedelica of the Ashen Hawk. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and we shall continue this again. Thank you, and、uh, yeah. Have a pleasant day, everyone, or night. All right.